Man, fuck you, round five, you fucking nigga. Sounds quite human. All right, fellas. We're here again for uh, another video. Apparently, I have to stick to a schedule these days. I say fuck that. Uh, so, another pretty shit week, to be honest. We did go up in the ranks. We are now 13,398th ranked with a rank change of 3,978. Most of that is owed to our new goats, Jackson Haightley and Lockie Whitfield, because they somehow carried me to a score over 2,000 this week, while many other people fell to the fucking floor. So, we got only 6 out of 9 league wins, another disappointing week in that regard, but once again another W for the draft team. And really, that's all that matters. Ranked third in the league. You know, bit of a shit score, but hey, we got the W. Again. Draft is really what I've been uh, concentrating on this year. I don't think classic means anything to me anymore. But, let's get into the team. So, as you would all remember from last week, we did in fact trade uh, John Noble for Tom Williamson. And we did in fact trade Jared Brander for Jordan Ridley. You'll all remember those were the trades that I made last week. But, let's get into the rest of this shit. So, we've got $40,000 left. Not ideal. 20 trades left. Not ideal. But, we've got Sam Doherty. That's all that really matters, so let's get into him. Scored 89. Our uh, little our little info box here says that Geary tagged him. Well, Geary is a shit cunt then. Sicily had an absolute shit cunt game. And honestly, I wish he didn't, because it was putting my team in danger of not getting 2,000 points, which is just shit. So thanks, Sicily, you dickhead. Uh, Jordan Ridley, goated, goated late trade-in. I'm pretty sure I traded him in with about two minutes until the Essendon game started. And honestly, that's the trade of the year. Like, honestly, man. 122. Averaging 112. At 412k I got him in, and now he's 460k. So very, very nice. Trent Rivers is a bit of a bot. I don't know why he's still in the Melbourne team, but what can you do? Dude is going to be a keeper. I take back what I said last week. I don't think he's going to be the Brody Smith of last year. Uh, I think he's going to get his game a little bit more consistent. I think his bad score was in the wet. And his first score, we don't really we we don't really talk about round one, you know. Starsevich, uh, he's either got to go this week or next week. Thirty eight, not good. Tom Williamson, a good score for his first outing in my team, and Bailey Williams just holding down that bench two spot for me. Lovely, lovely man. Great actually, at being your captain. Now, Lockie Neal, one hundred and thirty, serviceable, consistent. What more could you want from the man? Patrick Cripps, 116. Now, what's interesting here is he got tagged out of the first half by... Uh, who did he get tagged by? Yeah, Steele. The guy who said he would, never tr he would never tag again. And look how that worked out. So, don't trust St. Kilda on that, uh, on that regard. McInerney, 51. Mm, Probably going to have to trade him this week when he gets dropped for Chad Warner and Dylan Stevens. Imagine getting dropped for two players, man. Now, Jack McRae, he's... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to show you all something. You see that? Do you see that? 79.1k lost. <sighs> I started him... At $668,000. Anyway, Bont's a fucking retard, and I take back all the great things I said about him last week. Uh, he's no longer my favourite Italian. Jack Viney? I don't know why I traded him in, honestly. I tried to justify this trade-in by saying, Oh, but his foot issue's gone, you know? Look, he's surfing in this uh, this Melbourne documentary. Oh, look, he, you know, his foot's good, boys. He scored 180, I think, in his first round. He hasn't been over 100 since. And 
I mean, even though I luckbotted trading him in for Dunkley a week before Dunkley went down, I ain't happy with that, bro. That, that's just garbage. Uh, Tyler Brown, you're gone after... Mm. See, this is the issue. I've got too many fuckwits who need to go out of my team. But not enough trades to do it. <sighs> Matt Rowell. Now... Mm, uh, I'm just glad he only went down 8k. Um, no words. Except for this. Remember how last week I said that you all had to keep Rao? Um, yeah, don't do that. Please trade him. Uh, oh, poor Rao. Anyway, Jackson Haitley pick. Justified. Like I said it would be. Now, he's only gone up 21k, and his break even 72, but you cunts don't understand, alright? This kid is a nut job, alright? So, I was watching him and Lockie Whitfield very closely on the weekend, and this motherfucker, in the second half, looked electric, alright? Now, Lockie Whitfield had been having a pretty serviceable serviceable game, you know, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too good, but then, GWS, they were like, fuck it, alright, we're gonna run Haightley down the wing, and we're gonna run Whitfield, gulling with him in defence, Haightley to Whitfield, Whitfield to Haightley, over and over and over again, the scores kept going up, Haightley finished on 78, and Whitfield finished on 93, those two scores were enough to push me to over 2,000, and for that, they are this week's messiahs of the week. Lathan Vandermeer, I didn't have him on field. I had McInerney on field. But, uh, fuck me. What a player. Bit of a bit of a pod rookie, too, if you want to get into it like that. Uh, 5% ownership. Should have got the rising star nom. But anyway, Max Gorn, Brody Grundy. What can, you, what can you really say about them? They're just doing their thing, like last week. Petrarca, the only good player in a faulty team. Uh, Dustin Martin, ah, I mean, he didn't he didn't play bad, but 93, he need, he needs to start stepping it up, man. Or this or this pick's gonna be just as bad as the Whitfield pick, bro. Let's talk about Whitfield, though. All right. So again, I'll just remind you all that him and Jackson Haitley are the goats, the messiahs of the week, and. 93, pretty, pretty, pretty okay score, even though it should have been higher. Instead of getting, uh, kissed on the dick by Champion Data, he, he got a bit of a bite on the dick, unfortunately. Now, I'm not, no, nobody should be trading him out. Uh, I think we talked about trading him out possibly last week, but I'm sure you all, you all realised that was a little bit of a, little bit of a funny, you know, we're not actually going to trade Lockie Whitfield out, unless he, uh, Unless he just bots it next week or some shit. I don't know, man. Buderick, he's got to go this week, I think. Along with five other fucking rookies in my team. Uh, Devon is very consistent. 105, 105, 70, 70. We're not going to trade him out. We're going to leave him in. Curtis Taylor, goat. I had him on field, but I didn't have Max King on field. If I had had... Vandermeer and King on my field, instead of McInerney and Buderick, I would have scored 2,118. That would have pushed me even further up the ranks, and I am incredibly pissed off about this. Kaiseya, Kaiseya my boy, you gotta do more than this. His break-even is already pushing 28, and that seems to be his flaw. I would be very, very worried if he doesn't kick at least two snags this week, because his scoring just ain't cutting it now, um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's the team for this week, but, uh, we're forgetting the main team, alright, we're forgetting the main team, and that's our draft team, so, once again, another, another pretty good week for us, we beat, who did we even fucking beat, I don't care, we scored 895, because we had, uh, well, he's gone now, but Shane Edwards was in here. Uh, so we had Big Doherty, Big Weedering, Big Zach Tui was our trade-in for this week. But you know what? I'm thinking, hmm, I'm feeling a bit frisky this week. I'm thinking, maybe I trade him out just as quickly as I've traded him in. 
Now, if we filter by defenders only, we'll actually see that Big Stephen May is a free agent. Now, I'm not saying that, that would be a good trade-in, but I think that would be a good trade-in, and I think I'm going to do it. So, that's just another piece of the puzzle in my waiver and free agent only draft team. I am not going to make any trades with any players in my draft league this week, and I'm not going to make any for the foreseeable future. It's waivers and free agents this week, boys. Let's fucking go. Thank you for watching once again, and Grind Myers is a fault. <laughs> So, uh, because I'm a retard who likes to rush things, I forgot to talk about my trades. So, let's get into that. Uh, big, big Matty Rao. Oh, makes me, makes me cry every time, man. He was, he was the chosen one, man. He was gonna be our, he was gonna be our fucking M8 keeper. Like, fuck's sake. Anyway, we're gonna trade him out for arts, uh, by doing a bit of DPP magic once again. Buderick up into the midfield. Jake Arts in. Now, many people will think that's a bit of an avant-garde trade, bit of a weird trade. I don't think so. I think that's going to be the number one trade for this week, actually. Now, getting into our next trade of the week, what are we going to do? I'm actually not too sure. I was thinking that we might actually go Stasevich, right? Big Stasevich. Alright, now just, just stay with me for a second. We're going to go Stasevich out. And we are going to bring in big Hayden Crozier. Alright? Now, he might be suspended this week, but that's okay. You know why that's okay? It's because we can actually cover him with big Trent Rivers, who is a very, very low chance of getting dropped this week. I know I said I don't know why he's in the Melbourne team, but keep in mind... We will not have any of the Wagner Bros going up to the uh, to the hub, and the Wagner Bros are the most likely to replace him. So there you go. And we're going to put the big captain on him because now we can use Hayden Crozier as our captain loophole, and we'll just uh, just emergency Trent Rivers there. And uh, as you can see, the Western Bulldogs actually have the last game of the round. So this is a pretty big 5D chess move by me. Because we're going to put the vice captaincy on Latham Vandermeer. Now, he had a big week last week, but I think he can go even further up in the points this week. Alright? Sky high. I'm talking Tesla stock style. I'm talking zip pay stock. Alright? His stock is big. Watch out for a 150 score this week. Alright. Goodbye, and once again, thank you for watching, Malakas.